there's no other school district that I know of in the state that got this opportunity. So thank you to all of the people at the Eisman for, for giving this to our students and to our community. We really do appreciate you doing that for us. Here in Richardson ISD, we're very lucky to have Miss Mandy Harvey come and speak with our kids today. She's performing with our students and sharing about her life her story, and sharing the gift of music with all of our students and giving them an opportunity for questions and answers to learn more about what's going on in her world and theirs as well. She's a, a modern day Beethoven, if you will. She does music a different way. So you were singing before you lost your hearing? Yeah, I've been singing since I was four. So I, I left music after I lost my hearing and then uh, figured out how to get back into singing with muscle memory, using visual tuners, and trusting my pitch. So your shoes are off because you're feeling the vibration. Is that how you're following the music? Yeah, I'm feeling the tempo, the, the beat uh, through the floor. Growing up, my biggest fear was always losing my hearing. That happened. That was real. And I thought for sure if that happened, it would kill me. But it didn't. In fact, it's made me a better person, a stronger person. And I love myself and I love life for the first time. So what's the worst that can happen? You don't like the song? Okay, I can survive that. You don't like my voice? Okay, fine, I accept it. You don't have to listen. It's all going to be fine. I'm realizing more and more that I am the person who's holding myself back that I've allowed fear to drive my life. And I'm so tired of that being the case. My world wasn't broken, it was just different. And it was beautiful and intense and odd at times, but everything fell into place. You wake up, you breathe in and out, you walk out your front door, it's all the same. And then I started to really dig deep into this idea of who I was as a person. Because I told myself I was only capable of one thing, which was a lie. You're built up upon thousands of dreams, thousands of things that you can accomplish. The biggest barrier that you have is telling yourself what is and is not possible. What you are capable of. What you're limited to. If you stop telling yourself that you can't, it's amazing the doors that open and the things that you do. And I, at first, I honestly, I didn't like it because I knew what I was missing and I could only see what I was missing. But then after time went on, I began to love it because I felt connected to something else. I could feel music. I was paying attention to something that other people didn't pay much attention to. And it's been a beautiful journey. A lot of work, 40 to 70 hours a week, just on pronouncing words correctly and singing. So once I started adopting that, that mindset of what's within me is stronger than what's in my way, not allowing fear to control my life, I found myself wanting to do a lot more with my life. Not just be a part of music, but I wanted to get my music out. And Mandy, what are you going to sing? I'm going to uh, sing a song that I wrote called Try. It's incredible. I mean, I've done this a long time. That was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen and heard. Everybody keeps asking me, they're like, oh, so the biggest thing that you've ever done was audition for AGT. It's like, the biggest thing I ever did at some point was get up in the morning. The biggest thing I ever did was sing for seven people. That changed everything. It's not being important. It's not being famous. It's not having recognition. It's about the work and putting in the effort to pursue what you want to do. People don't hand you things. You have to do it yourself. Sometimes you have to figure out what you want, what you truly are passionate about. I thought it was music education. But if you boil it down, it's actually just music. Being involved with music in one way or another. 
So I'm being involved with music, even if that meant that all I did was sing in my shower or never sing again and just play the tambourine. I'm going to play the tambourine because I'm going to be involved with music, period. I don't want to ever give up, and I don't want you guys to give up. I want you guys to be able to walk out, see the sun, feel the sun, and realize that today is a new day, and we've got things to do. We have dreams to chase, and people to encourage, and smiles to be made. So that's what this song is about. Nice to meet you, are we flying? Or is it all in my head? second-guessing but I'm trying for it all disappears seconds turn into minutes wasting time instead of living please don't stand in my way cause I am running out of nowhere yes I'm moving on I'm moving on I'll lose the race if I wait so close that I can taste it. Yes, I'm moving on, I'm moving on. Whoa, oh, I'm running. This time I'm gonna make it. Whoa, oh, I'm running. This time, this time. Whoa, oh, I'm running. This time I'm gonna make it. Whoa, oh, I'm running. This time, this time. Cause seconds turn into minutes Wasting time instead of living Please don't stand in my way I am running out of nowhere Yes, I'm moving on, I'm moving on I'll lose the race if I wait I'm so close that I can taste it Yes, I'm moving on, I'm moving on Uh oh